its worst flood in decades. China says its worst in a hundred years. That China had to blast a dam. Brace yourselves for breaking news. China's iconic Three Gorges Dam is in the spotlight as it opens six floodgates in response to record high water levels. What's happening on the ground? How will this impact millions downstream? Stay tuned as we dive into this urgent development. Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the latest and most critical news from around the world. Today, we're focusing on an urgent situation in China that has massive implications. The Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest hydroelectric power station, has just opened six floodgates as water levels hit a staggering 175 meters. This emergency measure aims to prevent catastrophic flooding, but it also raises serious concerns for downstream regions. In this video, we'll explore the reasons behind this decision, the potential impact on communities, and what it means for China's ongoing battle with natural disasters. Don't go anywhere. This is news you need to know. The Three Gorges Dam, located on the Yangtze River in Hubei Province, is the world's largest hydroelectric power station in terms of installed capacity. Completed in 2012, the dam stands as a symbol of China's engineering prowess, designed to control flooding, generate power, and improve river navigation. Recent heavy rains have led to a significant increase in the water level of the Yangtze River, with the dam's reservoir reaching 175 meters. This level is considered the upper threshold for the dam's safe operation. The decision to open six floodgates is a proactive measure to relieve pressure on the dam and prevent overflow. The operation of the floodgates is a delicate balance. While releasing water helps to reduce the reservoir level and alleviate upstream flooding risks, it also increases the water flow downstream, which could exacerbate flooding in those areas. The China Three Gorges Corporation, which manages the dam, has been closely monitoring weather patterns and river conditions to optimize flood management. Opening the floodgates inevitably affects downstream regions, including densely populated cities and agricultural areas. Authorities have issued warnings and evacuation orders to residents in these regions to minimize the impact on human life and property. Emergency response teams are on high alert, and flood defense measures have been reinforced. To understand the severity of the situation, let's explore more about the Three Gorges Dam. The Three Gorges Dam is the world's largest hydroelectric power station by installed capacity, located on the Yangtze River in Hubei Province, China. This colossal structure stretches over 2,035 meters, 7,660 feet in length, and stands 185 meters, 607 feet tall. Its reservoir has a storage capacity of 39.3 billion cubic meters and extends approximately 600 kilometers, 370 miles upstream, creating a water body so vast that it is visible from space. The dam's primary purposes are flood control, hydroelectric power production, and improving river navigation. The Yangtze River, the longest river in Asia and the third longest in the world, has been both a lifeline and a source of devastating floods for China throughout its history. The concept of a major dam on the Yangtze was proposed as early as 1919 by Chinese leader Sun Yat-sen. However, it wasn't until the late 20th century that the idea gained serious momentum. In 1919, Sun Yat-sen, the founding father of the Republic of China, first proposed the idea of a dam on the Yangtze River to control flooding and generate electricity. Between 1950s and 1980s, several feasibility studies were conducted by Chinese engineers, but progress was hindered by technological limitations, economic constraints, and political upheaval, including the Cultural Revolution. After years of debate, the National People's Congress approved the construction of the Three Gorges Dam in 1992. The project faced substantial opposition due to concerns over environmental impact, displacement of local populations, and the submergence of cultural heritage sites. Construction of the dam officially commenced, divided into three main phases in 1994. The installation of the last generator brought the total to 32 main turbines and two smaller ones, with a combined generating capacity of 22,500 megawatts in 2012. The Three Gorges Dam was designed with flood control as one of its primary objectives. The dam's reservoir can hold up to 39.3 billion cubic meters of water, with 22 cubic kilometers specifically reserved for flood control. 
This immense capacity allows the dam to regulate the flow of the Yangtze River, especially during the monsoon season, when the river is prone to severe flooding. The dam's ability to store large volumes of water is crucial for controlling downstream flooding. By retaining excess water during periods of heavy rainfall, the dam reduces the risk of overflowing riverbanks and flooding urban and rural areas. The Three Gorges Dam is equipped with multiple floodgates and spillways designed to release water in a controlled manner. These mechanisms enable operators to manage the water level in the reservoir, balancing the need to prevent flooding with the need to maintain the dam's structural integrity. The operation of the Three Gorges Dam involves sophisticated monitoring and forecasting systems that help predict water flow and weather patterns. This data informs decisions on how to best manage the reservoir and floodgates to minimize flood risks. The dam utilizes advanced technology, including satellite data, weather forecasts, and hydrological models, to monitor rainfall and river conditions. This information allows for accurate predictions of water inflow and potential flooding scenarios. During periods of expected heavy rainfall, the reservoir is preemptively lowered to create additional storage capacity. This strategy ensures that the dam can accommodate the increased water volume without exceeding safe levels. With an installed capacity of 22,500 megawatts, the Three Gorges Dam generates about 100 terawatt hours of electricity annually. This output supplies power to millions of homes and industries, reducing China's reliance on coal and contributing to efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The generation of hydroelectric power at the Three Gorges Dam begins with the storage of water in its vast reservoir. The height difference between the reservoir's water level and the downstream riverbed creates potential energy. This energy is harnessed by allowing water to flow from the reservoir through the dam's structure. Water enters the power generation system through intake structures located at different elevations in the dam. These intakes are equipped with trash racks to filter out debris and protect the downstream turbines from damage. From the intakes, water flows into large pipes known as penstocks. The penstocks guide the water towards the turbines with minimal loss of energy. The design and material of the penstocks are optimized to withstand high pressure and reduce friction losses. The penstocks direct the water to the turbines, which are the heart of the hydroelectric power generation system. The Three Gorges Dam is equipped with 32 main turbines and two smaller ones, each designed to convert the kinetic energy of flowing water into mechanical energy. The turbines used at the Three Gorges Dam are Francis turbines, known for their efficiency and suitability for high-head applications. As water strikes the blades of the turbines, it causes them to spin, converting the water's kinetic energy into rotational mechanical energy. The turbines are connected to generators via shafts, as the turbines spin, they turn the rotor within the generator. The rotor is surrounded by a stator, which contains coils of wire. The relative motion between the rotor and the stator induces an electromagnetic field, generating alternating current AC electricity. Each generator at the Three Gorges Dam has a capacity of approximately 700 megawatts, with a total installed capacity of 22,500 megawatts when all turbines are operational. The electricity generated by the turbines is at a relatively low voltage. Transformers located within the dam complex step up the voltage to levels suitable for long-distance transmission. High-voltage electricity is more efficient to transmit over large distances, reducing energy losses. The high-voltage electricity is then transmitted through an extensive network of transmission lines. These lines connect the dam to the national grid, distributing power to homes, industries and businesses across China. The Three Gorges Dam operates with high efficiency, thanks to its state-of-the-art turbines and generators. The dam's ability to adjust water flow through its floodgates and turbines allows operators to optimize power production based on demand and water availability. The dam's design also incorporates redundancy and maintenance strategies to ensure continuous and reliable power generation. Regular maintenance of turbines, generators, and other critical components is crucial to sustaining high operational efficiency. But what if the dam collapses? No structure is indeed entirely immune to failure, and a combination of severe natural events or unforeseen technical issues could theoretically lead to a collapse. So what if the Three Gorges Dam collapses? The most immediate and devastating impact of a dam collapse would be catastrophic flooding. 
The Three Gorges Reservoir holds up to 39.3 billion cubic meters of water. A sudden release of this water would cause an unprecedented deluge, inundating vast areas downstream. Cities and towns along the Yangtze River, including major urban centers such as Yichang, Jingzhou, Wuhan, and further downstream, would be severely affected. The floodwaters would likely destroy homes, infrastructure, and agricultural lands, leading to significant loss of life and property. The rapid flooding would result in a high death toll. Given the population density along the Yangtze River, millions of people could be at risk. Evacuation efforts would be challenging due to the speed and scale of the flooding. Key infrastructure such as bridges, roads, railways, and industrial facilities would be destroyed or severely damaged. The disruption of transportation and communication networks would hinder rescue and relief efforts. Critical facilities like hospitals, schools, and power plants would be compromised, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis. Likewise, the sudden release of water and sediment would devastate riverine and riparian ecosystems. Aquatic habitats would be disrupted, leading to the loss of fish and other wildlife species. Wetlands and floodplains downstream, which are crucial for biodiversity, would be heavily impacted. The long-term ecological consequences could include changes in species composition and habitat loss. The collapse would release vast amounts of sediment, pollutants, and debris into the river, severely degrading water quality. Contaminants from industrial sites, agricultural fields, and urban areas would be swept into the river, posing serious health risks to human and animal populations. The Three Gorges Dam generates approximately 100 terawatt-hours of electricity annually, supplying power to millions of homes and businesses. Its collapse would result in a massive loss of energy production, leading to widespread power outages and economic disruption. Industries reliant on electricity from the dam would face production halts, leading to economic losses and potential job layoffs. The Yangtze River Basin is one of China's most important agricultural regions. The flooding would destroy crops, erode fertile soil, and disrupt irrigation systems, leading to significant losses in agricultural productivity. The economic impact on farmers and rural communities would be profound, with long-term consequences for food security and livelihoods. Millions of people living along the Yangtze River would be displaced by the flooding. The scale of displacement would overwhelm existing emergency response and relief capabilities. Temporary shelters, food, water, and medical supplies would be in high demand, leading to a humanitarian crisis. In addition, the collapse would lead to public health emergencies, including waterborne diseases from contaminated water supplies and injuries from the flood and debris. Access to healthcare would be severely limited due to infrastructure damage, complicating efforts to address medical needs. Rebuilding the affected areas would require enormous resources and time. Infrastructure, homes, and businesses would need to be reconstructed posing significant financial and logistical challenges. The government would need to implement comprehensive rehabilitation plans to restore normalcy and support affected communities. So, let's explore various scenarios that could potentially lead to the collapse of the dam, examining natural disasters, structural issues, and human factors. The region around the Three Gorges Dam is seismically active. Although the dam is designed to withstand significant seismic events, a major earthquake, particularly if its epicenter is close to the dam, could potentially cause structural damage. The vibrations and ground shaking could weaken the foundation or the dam structure itself. Large reservoirs, such as the one created by the Three Gorges Dam, can induce seismic activity due to the immense weight of the water and changes in pressure on the Earth's crust. This phenomenon, known as reservoir-induced seismicity, could pose a risk if it triggers a large enough earthquake. Next is excessive flooding. The Yangtze River Basin is prone to heavy rainfall, especially during the monsoon season. An extreme weather event, such as a series of intense storms leading to unprecedented rainfall, could overwhelm the dam's flood control capacity. If the inflow exceeds the dam's ability to release water through its spillways and floodgates, it could lead to overtopping, compromising the dam's integrity. A massive landslide into the reservoir, possibly triggered by heavy rains or an earthquake, could displace a large volume of water, creating a wave that overtops the dam. Third is structural issues. Over time, the concrete used in the dam's construction can deteriorate due to chemical reactions, weathering, and other environmental factors. While the dam is regularly maintained, 
undetected or underestimated degradation could weaken the structure. The steel components within the dam, including reinforcements and turbines, can corrode over time. Corrosion can reduce the strength and integrity of these components, potentially leading to structural failure. Also, the foundation of the Three Gorges Dam is built on bedrock, but any geological instability or unknown faults could pose a risk. Shifts or movements in the earth beneath the dam could undermine its stability. Persistent water flow can lead to erosion of the foundation materials. If erosion occurs at a significant scale, it could compromise the dam's stability. Fourth is human factors. Mismanagement of water levels and flow rates could lead to scenarios where the dam is either under excessive pressure or not properly prepared for incoming floods. Inadequate coordination and decision-making during critical periods could exacerbate the risk of structural failure. Regular maintenance is crucial for the longevity and safety of the dam. Any lapses in inspection, maintenance, or repair work could lead to undetected issues that may eventually trigger a collapse. Likewise, the Three Gorges Dam is a high-profile target, and any deliberate attempt to damage it through explosives or other means could pose a significant risk. Security measures are in place, but the potential for sabotage cannot be entirely ruled out. In today's interconnected world, critical infrastructure like the Three Gorges Dam is susceptible to cyber attacks. A successful cyber attack on the dam's control systems could lead to improper functioning of gates and spillways, potentially leading to a catastrophic failure. Fifth is temperature variations. Extreme temperature variations can cause thermal stress on the dam's materials. Repeated cycles of heating and cooling can lead to cracking and weakening of the concrete and steel components. In a nutshell, the collapse of the Three Gorges Dam would have catastrophic consequences, affecting millions of people, vast areas of land, and numerous ecosystems. While the dam is engineered to withstand significant stresses, understanding the potential triggers for its collapse is essential for disaster preparedness and risk management. Natural disasters, structural issues, human factors, and climate change all present potential risks that must be continuously monitored and mitigated. Through enhanced monitoring, emergency response planning, and technological upgrades, the risk of a collapse can be minimized, ensuring the continued safety and functionality of this critical infrastructure. As we continue to monitor the situation at the Three Gorges Dam, the opening of the six floodgates marks a critical moment in managing the water levels and ensuring the safety of millions downstream. We'll keep you updated with the latest developments and expert insights on this unfolding event. Thank you for tuning in to our breaking news coverage. If you found this information valuable, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates and in-depth analyses. Hit the like button if you appreciate our coverage and share this video with your friends and family to keep them informed.